du jeu au lendemain. Benoît Poivert. One of the greatest actors alive in the world. He, he's, he's coming from Belgium. Ah! Originally, uh, he, he played the guard <laughs> on the characters. But he was, as far as I can tell, his career was launched by the Sitaïve de Sitaïve Pradeshevu. Which is a uh, recurrent title now. It's it's uh, part of the folklore. Uh, it was even a, fr a French show on the uh, Versailles, which is not the Tarive for the show. It's the Tarive something prayer. Predator. Anyway. Um, White's dog. So he's, he's a very <laughs> clever actor, you know, the, the main success. Even he even pulls this along, <laughs> which is a, a ultra um, not spectacular uh, <laughs> comedy, uh, wherein <laughs> his character is at one point uh, a fall by happiness. Uh, which makes sense in a way because French uh, are uh, at the bottom of the charts for uh, for happiness in in privileged uh, countries uh, terms. That is, of course, you can't you can't have the French be as unhappy as uh, people in terminal South Sudan. Somalia, where there's hunger and there's uh, terrible weather, and as far as I can tell, it's, well, deserts, white, white areas, and violence, war, bombings, and so on. So, so <clears throat> you can't have that. But still, when compared with industrial societies, the French. Uh, Quite gloomy, terminal. Uh, and it seems when, when I read some of the expressions, it seems that there is a um, uh, sophistication and the ennui. It's not. It's not. Um, intellectual to to be stupidly happy. Or, Sophisticated person, you have to have a certain malaise, a certain je ne sais pas, not at all. So, and there was a discussion I mentioned before with a French ambassador in, uh, maybe 10 years ago. We used to come with the sound. The French embassy is close to this uh, two minute, minute walk, less. It's 400 meters or something from the embassy from this downtown club. So he had his explanations, but let's not go into it. Then there's a, a, a book I read some years back from the upside of the downside uh, dinner. This was dinner, the son of a dinner, as far as I can tell, dinner. I think the, the father of it. Prominent, one of the best psychologists, and both books on positive psychology. His son, also clearly a, a luminary, uh, <clears throat> and he wrote on this matter. And um, some of the things that are left with me, if any, <laughs> would be that, that you, you have there is something to be said. So the negative side, and there will be some some jobs that require people with a negative uh, tension of output, because whereas the positive see better the bigger picture, they're not as good at it when it comes to details. Those with a negative uh, tendency see better the details than the positive, and you need that in 
protective war. In, um, traffic control uh, against tax uh, consultancy and tax uh, accountants and so on. Um, so there will be that. <laughs> and I think because at one point uh, uh, Verb is uh, is outraged by the happiness he has brought along inadvertently he, he, he suggested things which cause one to lose money one other to <coughs> to do something else and when they come reporting unexpected uh, wonderful results and happiness he is he is uh, in disbelief I mean are you filming this this, this is this a st strategy is this what is and he's losing it, so he ends up in a uh, mental institution. But will it be for forever? Maybe not. You don't have a comedy uh, ending in tragedy, uh, do you? Or maybe if this is French. Uh, who knows? <laughs>